four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And this, of course, was the launch of the DM-2 mission on May 30th, 2020, the first launch of astronauts from American soil since 2011, using the Falcon 9 rocket and the Crew Dragon capsule, both manufactured by SpaceX, a private company founded in 2002. That same Falcon 9 rocket doesn't only carry astronauts. In fact, it usually carries satellites into orbit for a much cheaper price than was previously possible. Those satellites increasingly belong to private companies that use them to provide some sort of business from space. Whether that is, for example, telecommunications or what we call Earth observation. We are seeing the birth of a new space economy right in front of our eyes. And that is the topic of this course. Welcome to Space Entrepreneurship 101. By the end of the 30 or so short lectures, you will be able to understand and explain what the current and future space economy may look like, including key subsectors such as satellite communications, Earth observation, rocket launch, orbit services, space tourism, and others. You will also understand the space economy's key drivers, its current size, and what people think its future size may be. Lastly, you will hopefully have an idea how you can participate, principally as an entrepreneur and some basic hints of how you can go about it. So who is this course for? Well, first, let me be clear. It is entirely non-technical, both on the space and the business side. There really aren't any prerequisites other than a keen interest in space. People who will benefit from this course may include anybody contemplating being a space entrepreneur, and you do not have to currently work in space to be one. Think about the internet. Most of our early internet entrepreneurs did not come out of computer science departments, for like, for example, Jeff Bezos. You may also work in a non-space company, maybe as an innovation officer or as an executive in a business line that may benefit from space, whether as a customer, supplier, or in some other role. If you don't fit any of these categories I mentioned, don't worry. If you find the topic interesting, join the ride, and maybe the course will inspire you as to what your role may be in the new space economy. Lastly, I should introduce myself. My name is Raphael Rodkin, and I run a company called E2MC that invests in and advises space companies. Prior to all that, I spent many years in the global financial markets, at banks and investment funds. I'm an alumnus of the International Space University and also hold degrees in finance from Wharton and machine learning from Pork Rio. On the space side, I also try to be somewhat of an evangelist. And for example, I have a bi-monthly podcast, the Space Business Podcast, and write for spacewatch.global, a major space news portal. I'm also part of an initiative in Switzerland called Space for Impact, which aims to promote space companies that help in the pursuit of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. You can find links to all of these in the course Q&A. That's enough for the intro. Where all systems go, let's launch the course. <laughs>